Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to the elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. My name is Amon Gabar, back with another lesson, low one to edify and to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, through the Holy Spirit, Rekakwadash. Now, this is from the RT, just in breaking news. Entitled Basketball Player Kobe Bryant, Los Angeles Lakers legend dies in helicopter crash. Reported. Traveling in his private helicopter, Brian and four others crashed over Calabasas on Sunday morning, TMZ reported. Emergency personnel responded, but there were no survivors. His wife and four daughters are said to have not been among the deceased. Hey, for most of you people out there, you know that's going to say, you know, the devil did it. Or, you know, sympathize and mourn the most high God who the world called God and Jesus Christ, all right, they were the one responsible for this. The Most High was the one that took Kobe Bryant's life, all right? His expiration date was today, all right? It was today, and when it's your time to go, it's your time to go. Now, I got just a couple scriptures I want to bring out real quick because, you know, a lot of people, most people, if not all, except for the, for the people in the circle, the, the brothers, the elect, the Israelites, you know, are the Most High. You know, we understand death and we understand that it's the Most High who's responsible for taking a person's life just as much as giving a person life. Okay? Now, real quick, I just want to get... um, just want to get a quick precept. This is the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor. And maketh rich, he bringeth low and lift up. Let's read that again. The Lord, all right, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lift up. So it's the most high, he's responsible for the for the killings that take place. If anyone dies, no matter no matter how old, how young, newborn, infant. You know, no matter the, the cause of death, how it happened, it was the Heavenly Father who did it. All right. He maketh alive and he bringeth down to the grave. OK, he bringeth up. It says the Lord maketh poor and maketh rich, just like how you have people that are rich. Kobe Bryant was rich. All right. He was an NBA legend. All right. You have you had a lot of legends in the industry, whether it's music, you know, um, acting, Hollywood, whatever. Many that were rich and they perished, all right? So at the end of the day, you know, your money really don't mean anything because your life, your life is hanging on the, on the line, so to speak. All right, let me go into the Apocrypha real quick. This is Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 10. It says, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Let's read that again. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. What is the benefit? The benefits is talking about riches. All right. Those are the benefits. Many in this life have received the riches, the benefits and have not known me. Who's that me? It's talking about the most high. And they that had loathed my law while they had yet liberty. OK. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. So you got people that loathed at the law of the most high. They have liberty. They have. They have um, the riches of this world, but they loathe at the law of the Most High. All right, meaning they shun it, they they disannul it, they they don't take it into consideration. All right, now the scriptures tell you that the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. So if you commit sin, which sin is the transgression of the law? All right, that's what sin is. Sin is the transgression of the law. That's you can read that in First John chapter three verse four. Sin is the transgression of the law. So once you break the law of the Most High, you commit sin. All right. Now, if you don't repent and ask the Most High to forgive you of your sins, all right, then you're loathing, you're loathing at His law. Okay, you're loathing at His law. So let's read that again. And they that had loathed My law, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Now, people despise the Hebrew Israelites, right? People say the Hebrew Israelites are this, they that, they hate, they hate group, they this, that. But the Hebrew lights, in a nutshell, are teaching you people 
about repentance. We're, we're, we're instructing you people to repent to the Heavenly Father. All right, most if most groups are doing it, you know, pretty much all Israelite groups are teaching Israelites that they're Israelites, and they're teaching them to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. And yeah, it does get deeper than that, but that's pretty much the surface of of it all. And these celebrities, they're well aware of the Hebrew Israelites. They know who we are. They know what we about. You know, some may you know just sit back, smoke a blunt, drink, and watch us on YouTube and call us crazy under some type of false avatar YouTube name. You know, some acknowledge us, but don't, but still don't take it serious. That's loathing at the law of the Most High. So while they had yet liberty, which liberty means freedom, all right, while while they had freedom, and when the place of repentance was open, they didn't understand it, but they despised it, all right? They despised it. And that's why a lot of people are going to get put to death for despising the ways, the words of the Heavenly Father, all right, for despising his laws. So it says the same must know it after death by pain. All right, so you can imagine, all right, Kobe Bryant seen, in that helicopter seeing his life flash before his eyes, all right, spiraling down that helicopter, knowing that he's about to die. That's pain. That's torture. That's that's that death. So, you know, hey, repentance was open unto, unto him. You know what I'm saying? That every, every celebrity know about the Hebrew Israelites. Every last one of them. All right, with no secret. So it says, verse 13, And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. And when, so don't, you know, brothers that are that are in the know that are teaching these people, you know, to repent and they despise and they don't want to repent. The scriptures say, don't be curious how the ungodly is going to be punished and when. Don't be, don't worry about when and how and where and why. All right, but it says, inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and wh for whom the world was created. So the Most High tells us to worry about the scriptures say in all Philippians, um, two and twelve, to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So we are here to work out our own salvation and make sure that we're right with the Heavenly Father. And also to wash, you know, wash these people's bloods off of our hand by letting them know what the truth is, letting them know to repent, letting them know exactly what's what's to come to this world. So by us doing that, we're we're not we're, we're guiltless, you know, for um we're guiltless as far as us warning the sheep. So when when they when they get their death. And their their um their vengeance, okay. When the Most High judge them, they can't say they didn't know because we told them. The prophets told them, starting with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone on down. All right, they've been warned. So anyway, this is just you know a quick lesson. I wanted to um to um shed light on this topic. I'm sure it's circulating circulating around like wildfire right now. So anyway, with that, I say shallow one.